Welcome back. Before we went for the break, we established some of the amazing benefits of Bracaria grass and promised to give you tips on how it is propagated. But before we get there, Murage has some more amazing uses of this wonder grass. This grass, uh, Caliandria, is okay, but now you won't make it bushy. Eh? As in one Caliandria there, 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 it doesn't become bushy. I love you can also do the, now the uh, Desmodium. Because Desmodium and Caliandria and Bracaria, they have what we call the push and pull technology. It's even recommended eh? when you plant maize, you plant, plant along the border, Bracaria, then you do Desmodium in between the shamba. Eh? So what the Desmodium will do, eh, it will attract the, it will repel the fall armyworms and all that from the farm. And then they'll be attracted by the Bracaria, they'll come and get stuck here. So they don't attack maize. They get caught up in the Bracaria and they don't want it Bracaria. And so it's, a, it's called push and pull technology. It assists in that Bracaria. You can also use things like Napier. But because Bracaria has more, more base area and mass, yeah, it's better. You can plant Bracaria grass from seeds or from splits. But for seeds, you'll have to wait for a total of 12 weeks before transplanting. For splits though, in three weeks time, they've already started germinating. When it comes to planting of Bracaria, there are um, two types or two ways of planting it. Eh? One, you can opt to plant the splits or the seeds. If you decide to plant the seeds, you will go get maybe your one kg, pour it in a nursery and water for around eight to 12 weeks. After eight to 12 weeks, now you'll need to transplant to the main farm, that's seeds. Uh, see, once the seeds have come out, now they'll be like split seedlings. Now seedlings are what we call the splits. Eh? So if you take the, now the splits, now you'll be transferring to the farm, eh? you go plant them at two feet by two feet. If you plant them at two feet by two feet, eh? the, by the fourth month, they will have already started reaching each other. Uh, but now you still have to cut it so that when it rains again, eh, it's tashikana sasa. But if you plant at one meter by one meter, it takes around eight to eight months ndiyo zishikani. But they will eventually shikana. So if you do the two feet by two feet of uh, split spacing, eh? that's around 8,000 to 10,000 splits that will be required for an acre because it's the feet by the feet. Eh? But now if you do a meter, you require around 4,000 splits if you do a meter by a meter by a meter. When we plant the split, it will normally dye the main seedling then it will split from under the ground. That's why we call them splits, because it's coming out from the ground. So what we'll do, we'll dig holes at two feet by two feet. This is for demonstration purposes. A normal hole. Just that is enough. Then you take your split. Make sure when covering it, all these nodes are under the soil, like that, just slip it, cover, take your next split. Take your, take your next split, place it on the hole. Make sure these splits are facing upwards, cover, and then you let the rain drop on it for a period of three weeks. The split will have caught 
But when the rains are too much, you don't dig a deep hole. You make sure the hole is about three to two inches when it's very heavy, the rains. But if the rains are lighter, you can now dig a hole six inches below the ground to avoid rotting of the that. We have the long splits and peop some people prefer to do furrows instead of holes. You have a, lo a long trench furrow. You'll put this split and make sure all the nodes are under the soil. Take another split, place it next to the other one. Then you cover, making sure like that. You go covering so there'll be a line of splits continuous on the, under the ground. So it will split from the nodes. Mm. Compared to Napier, which is the most common fodder among dairy farmers, Bracaria grass is able to tolerate long spells without rain. Haina nutrition nyingi kuliko Bracaria. Bracaria iko na nyingi. Na vile nimefanya, nimesha patia ngobe zangu na apia grass. Na nikaona. Wakati nipatia Bracaria inaogeza maziwa by 30%. 30%. Kama ikiwa ilikuwa ikitoa, nutrition Hii unaona ni bichi. Iko bichi iko na maji mengi sana. Kwa hivyo haisaidii ngombe sana. Hata ukipatia uwezi pata maziwa mengi. Lakini hii inaiweka hapa ikauke hapa ni kibada changu. Cha, cha kuweka kile kama kitu kama nyasi, kama napia grass ikauke. Hii ni lazima ikauke iwe kama hii niipatie ngombe. Kwa sababu ukipatia ngombe ikiwa na ikiwa namna hii 80% is water and 20% is zero loose. Kwa hivyo, ikikauka na muna hii, itakua 80% is zero roots and 20% is water. Kwa hivyo, hii inasaidia ngobe sana. Yeah. Hata inatoa maziwa mengi, ikiwa dry. Hata hiyo brachiria, nazima ukikatakata iwe ime dry. Iwe dry kabisa. Ikiwa dry, inapatia ngobe. Uh, inda, ngobe itakua na avya nyigi na itakua ita, ita, maziwa mengi. Kwa sabu ni kujentia, brachiria ni nyingi. The crude protein content of Bracaria grass ranges from 9 to 20 percent. Other advantages the grass has over other tropical grasses in Kenya is its high plant vigor, producing more biomass even on low fertile soils and fast recovery after grazing. Morage says that not much care is required during its development after planting, but it is important to inspect the field regularly. Pests such as red spider mites and armyworms may attack the grass. He insists that it is important to follow the right harvesting practices. Now, Bracaria should be cut at least three, five centimeters from the ground so that you don't affect the splits which are sprouting out and you cut the whole base using a very sharp panga or machete so that you don't, you don't disturb it at the base like that. So once you go cutting, these are the root, the runners, they can re be replanted. So once you go lifting it and cutting it, you make sure you don't affect the base of this Saka, which is growing like that, at least five centimeters from the ground. Once I get the hang of the panga, I can fly. <laughs> five centimeters from the ground, a sharp panga. Make sure at least 
a strike is finishing the grass like that you put it down the grass is very long and as you cut it you go getting more planting materials from that grass it has the roots and the runners to grow a speed a slice like that you cut it like that as you can see the grass had covered a big area but now that is one split that was initially one split this is the second one as we go you can tell the number of splits which were planted a very sharp panga is very good so you can see by the time i'm through i have just cut three three whatever with the spacing two feet by two feet Bracaria grass consists of over 100 species but so far only four varieties are cultivated as pasture in Kenya. Bracaria decument CV, Basilisk B. Brizanda CV, MG4B. Brizanda CV, Piata and B. Brizanda CV. These are the best varieties for semi-arid, sub-humid and humid areas. Bracaria hybrid CV Mulato 2 is suitable for coastal lowlands and many regions in Kenya. Breeding of Bracaria grass is a low risk and high profitable enterprise that will have a major impact on animal production in Kenya. There is a growing interest in Bracaria and the demand for planting material is increasing by the day. Farmers with entrepreneurial skills can seize this golden opportunity for Bracaria seed production. We hope that you've enjoyed the show. For these and more, watch Dairy Farms every Tuesday from 7pm to 7.30 only on KTM Farmers TV.